Welcome back to Hannity. There is a group of girls in California. They range in age from 8 to 11 years old, and they call themselves the Radical Brownies. Now, here's what they are being taught. White policemen are killing black young folks, such as women, men, and children. Like Brown, he was shot because he didn't do nothing. Only the police officers shot him because just because of his skin color. The beret, it's a Black Panther brown beret twist. Now, we blurred these little girls' faces because we think they're being exploited by the group's founders, whose mission states, quote, the radical brownies empower young girls of color so that they step into their collective power, brilliance, and leadership in order to make the world a more radical place. Now, we called the Girl Scouts of America, and they made it clear that they are in no way affiliated with the so-called radical brownies. So are these troop leaders indoctrinating these young and impressionable girls. Here with Reaction, Fox News contributors Jacques de Graff and Deneen Borelli. Michael Brown was shot because he robbed a store, intimidated a clerk, charged an officer, fought for his gun. Not because of what these young girls are being indoctrinated to say, Jacques. I mean, are you not as outraged at this? I'm not outraged. Uh, it, it is distressing that, that, that issues that are important have been uh, reduced to that uh, kind of exchange, but uh, that's the perception in many places in this country. Would you want your kids being a part of a group like that? Young people being involved in social justice goes back from I'm farm to sway. that group, who's saying those things, being a part of that group. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be distressed if that's... I understand that they marched in the Martin Luther King parade. I understand that they wow. marched and stood up and demonstrated for equal rights. Uh, and so, so to that extent, no. Uh, there's a long tradition from Suedo to Birmingham of young people doing that. A little different. Sean, this is a form of childhood abuse. I, I look at this as psychological abuse for these young girls, 8, 9, 10, 11 years old, telling them that police officers are just randomly killing black people. And to invoke Ferguson into this issue as well, just as you just mentioned, uh, the evidence, the forensic evidence and the jury weighed in that it had nothing to do about race. But you have these young girls who are being exploited, and I find it, and these are They're adults who are doing this to them. This is the outrageous part. I know, no eight-year-old kid is going to say that on their own. Exactly. No eight-year-old kid. All right, there's another example in New York where, and this was right after the shooting of the two police officers in New York, a high school, a public high school, had up a poster that said, we need justice for Mike Brown and Eric Gardner. We can't let these whites win. So two police officers come in. The principal says, well, you guys have a problem with that? And he goes, no, we're just admiring the artwork. They were being sarcastic. Then the principal goes to the, their bosses in the police department because he had up on the public school wall, we can't let these whites win. Does that bother you? The, the, the principal went to the police officer's superiors to say what? But to say that, to, to complain that they didn't like it. Yes. This was right after two cops were shot. Well, I mean, that's clearly an inflammatory uh, situation, irresponsible. Isn't that racist? We it's can't let these... irresponsible. Is it racist? It's irresponsible. It is racist. It is and racist. Wait, wait, why do you want to say it's racist? It's inflammatory and it's irresponsible, because that's my opinion. You don't think that's racist? My opinion is that it's inflammatory and irresponsible. You think it's not racist? It, it, you know, the, 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 you talk about the, these instances both of it, but involving children. Children, the, uh, when they lynched blacks throughout the South, they brought children and wives and they had barbecues while they were there. And no one said anything in America. They don't say anything to this day. You know what? There were a but lot no of people, white and black, that fought against slavery from the Underground Railroad through the Civil Rights yes. Movement, right. marching yeah. with Martin Luther King yes. Jr. A lot of people, yeah. good people, Christian people, yes. white and, and black. Yes. So, and here's the thing. We have these black liberal establishment individuals who are continuing to per perpetuate that America is a racist country. There are so, there are so many strides that we have have made. Yes, there will be pockets of racism. There are clowns out there who are racist. But we have a wonderful country, a, an exceptional country. And when you have children, I don't care what age they are, up to what, up to, up to what age, even adults, and you have people who are pushing the race car narrative. It's very dangerous. And what are these individuals doing when they're in school with their classmates? What are they thinking and what are they doing when they're City, hearing this stuff? In New York City, where we're broadcasting from tonight, has one of the most segregated school systems 
in the city. And in that city, the people who are in some of those classrooms that are that are racially segregated have some of the lowest achievement scores. You, you, so they experience a you, different you America. You can fix it. Well, you know how you, you can talking. fix it? I know how we can yeah, fix it. School choice. Just, exactly. Let me give you one more example. I am shocked, even me. Uh, I shouldn't be shocked at anything Jesse Jackson does. All right, so there was a, a Jackie Robertson West Chicago Little League team won the, the Little League International uh, Championship, okay? They won the World Series, if you will. And anyway, they had their award taken away because they had players that were outside the team's boundaries. In other words, let me say it nicely, they didn't play by the rules. They cheated. Cheated. <laughs> Why is Jesse Jackson defending cheaters? I don't understand that. And making it about race. And Yeah, why? But, you know, I blame the adults. These children had nothing to do with how this was structured. And if you had players who were playing on this team and they were outside of what the rules were, and the, the young the players rules. are the ones who are And the they got caught and, and their, champ their championship was taken but away again, from them. But again, back to the black liberal establishment. Jesse Jackson making this about race. Why is it about race? How come it's not that they were cheating and they weren't obeying the rules? What do you think? Uh, I, I You're think, a reverend. Don't you teach to I, be honest and I truthful? That, and, and I've competed uh, in, in yeah. athletics and seen that uh, instances where people we used to call those folks ringers. And when you get they caught, they're ringer. And if you're a ringer, you get caught and you pay the price. Well, why uh, is it you're a reverend, all right? And, and you and I do have one, we always talk about, I am a Christian, you're a Christian, you're probably better than me, you're the reverend, I expect more out of you reverends. Um, but in all, he's a reverend. You play by the rules. You can't go outside and bring in a ringer. But, but, but Christians also believe in forgiveness and second chances. I forgive you, but you and still I'm don't saying, get the championship. Saying, I'm, not, I'm not Jesse Jackson, and he has his own spokespeople, but I imagine that he's talking about compassion. Now, in my view, the, the actions have consequences. Right. And if you get caught breaking the rules, then you have right. to We're, we're good on one out of the three issues tonight, and you're three for three, Deneen. All right.